The EOS High Voltage Knowledge Base includes five Microsoft Excel workbooks that streamline the process of estimating substations. Let's use the EOS Distribution Small Substation Workbook to estimate a substation. Start by reviewing the substation components on the one-line sheet. In the minimum configuration, line 1 and the line switch, transformer, and one feeder on line 1 are set to new. Add and remove components from the substation as needed using the lists. You can add and remove lines, transformers, switch gear, circuit breakers, and feeders. You can also designate that equipment is future to include space for it in the substation, which may also add bus to make connections. Next, set the voltage and amperage for the substation components. When you finish working on the one-line sheet, select the layout sheet. The layout sheet shows how the components are laid out on the substation site. This is just one layout that can work and it's used to size the site. Look over the default spacing and sizing values in the orange cells and change them as needed. Buses and equipment bays are highlighted in yellow. and cable trenches are highlighted in blue for easy identification. Dark blue indicates medium voltage cables going from the transformers to the switch gear. A photo of a representative substation is also included. Let's take a look at the quantities sheet. This sheet shows the substation quantities and dimensions calculated from the one line and layout sheets. Review the quantities and specifications. You can change values as needed in the orange cells. You can add shielding masts and CCVTs if needed, and you can also change the power and control wiring. When you finish reviewing and modifying the substation and its components, save the Microsoft Excel workbook with a new name. After you save the Excel workbook, you're ready to take off the substation model in SAGE Estimating. Select the substation model and click Interview to open the model interview. Enter a model reference. The model reference value identifies the model on the spreadsheet. Each model must have a unique reference. Select the Excel design file that you completed earlier. As you review the model interview section, you can see the information that pre-filled from the Excel workbook. You can change or enter information for the model as needed, including values that came from the Excel workbook. Notice that the model includes assumptions for foundations, fence, and more. When you complete the model interview, click OK and then click Close. Now you're ready to generate the model to the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet now contains all the estimate details, summarized to the system level showing buses, circuit breakers, and so on. You can see that the total estimate is approximately $1 million for this substation. The items are organized by system, activity, and assembly. You can change item details as needed on the spreadsheet. And there you have it, a complete substation estimated in detail in less than 5 minutes.